In 23rd of March, the Kurdish YPG finally announced that the Islamic State has totally collapsed and that Kurdish forces now controls 100% of all the area previously controlled by the Islamic State. This video will mainly focus on listing all the great battles won, cities liberated and achievement achieved by the Kurds in the fight against ISIS. If you want to know more details about the war itself, we will link two videos, one about the battle in Kobani and another about the Islamic State. So check out those two if you haven't. And as usual, if you like our video and our work, leave a like below and support us by sharing this channel and subscribe to it as well. In this video, we will mainly look at the contribution of Peshmerga in Iraqi occupied Kurdistan and YPG in Syrian occupied Kurdistan. Starting with Iraq, the Islamic State made huge advancement in the Anbar province and the northern part of Iraqi occupied Kurdistan. Peshmerga forces firstly claimed the control of Kirkuk, after that Iraqi forces fled as they simply were afraid of the terrifying Islamic State. Later on, after taking thousands of Ezidi Kurds as sex slaves and slaughtering another 5 to 7 thousand Ezidis, the Peshmerga forces broke the Islamic State offensive in 13th of August 2014 and the offensive to retake Shingad after strategically retreating from it began in December 2014. This offensive led to Kurdish victory in Shingal around November 2015. In late January 2015, the Iraqi forces in cooperation with Peshmerga launched an offensive to retake the Jala province and in this cooperation, Peshmerga captured a large area of territory surrounding Mosul. During this time, several attacks were repelled by the Peshmerga forces and in all the chaos, Peshmerga liberated the Christian city of Bashika. The advancement of the Kurds in Iraqi occupied Kurdistan were slowed down after new battles between Iraq and the Kurds which came as a result of the Kurdistan independent referendum in 2017. Going to the Syrian occupied Kurdistan, we have the Kurds of Rojava who has been the most effective force against the Islamic State. The YPG first battle against Islamic State powers in Syria was actually before the reign of ISIS. They then fought Al-Qaeda loyal forces in Seri Kani, internationally known as Ras Al Ain, which they soon enough liberated. Alongside, they also liberated villages as Tel Alu, Karhuk, and Ali Akha. Within time, as the Islamic State took over large parts of Kobani, the YPG would in time liberate the city and a lot of villages surrounding it. When Islamic control over Kobani fell, the advancement of the Islamic State also fell and YPG could secure more and more land from ISIS. In September 2013, Free Syrian Army came into clashes with the YPG, making YPG fight against ISIS, Al-Qaeda and FSA more and less. In time, whole Hasaka province was liberated by the YPG. This includes about 1,800 cities and villages. In October, YPG controlled a long area of border with Iraq in Ali Arubiya crossing. Soon enough, YPG could liberate Tel Abiyad, Giresbi, and Tel Brak, all of them strategic important cities and locations which had been in ISIS control. The moral was low in the society of the Islamic State and it didn't become any better as YPG in November 2015 liberated Al Hawl with its 200 neighboring villages. Not too much time passed before YPG also liberated Tishreen Dam, which was a strategic dam location captured by ISIS in 2012 from Bashar's army. Tel Rifat in northern Aleppo was soon enough also liberated. The cities and villages are many and it's hard to mention all of them. Eventually, YPG would control around half of Syria as the liberated Manbij, the whole African canton and finally the Islamic State capital of Raqqa. From 2015, Turkey began bombing YPG and this slowed down YPG's advancement. However, YPG kept on fighting both Al-Qaeda, ISIS and Turkey simultaneously as they advanced. 
In 2019, YPG has now announced that the Islamic State is defeated. However, the ideology of the Islamic State lives and will probably cause problems for the Kurds in the future. One can claim that the Kurds wouldn't be able to do all this without airstrike support. But let's turn it around. Would the airstrikes be able to achieve all this without the Kurds support? Over 12,000 Kurds have been killed in YPG in Rojava, over 3,000 in Peshmerga in Iraqi occupied Kurdistan, and over 30,000 totally being injured.